As we've mentioned before, the Plaza Arts uh, Studio Tour is coming up in November. Gia McNutt is one of the ladies who is involved in putting this all together. A gargantuan task, but you are up to it, I presume. I am. Thank you, Jerry, so much to have me on the, on the show. Thank you. You saved my life. You helped me get collections of all these uh, artworks, <laughs> be able to show people so they'll be tantalized and want to take the tour themselves. That's what we hope. Now, your work is on this tour this year. That is correct. So now let, uh, tell us, please, about the rest of the artists on the tour that you have uh, chosen for us to get familiar with. And also let us know the personal friends of yours and uh, what you enjoy talking to them about. Okay, wonderful. Well, I'm going to start with Jay Stargard, who is a metal sculpture and jewelry artist. And I went to her studio just last week for the Placer Arts uh, League tour that we did of her studio. Her metal sculptures are stunning. I mean, this one that we're looking at right now is just so smooth and so full of movement. In fact, she has welders come to her and say, that's impossible. That's not possible. <laughs> well, obviously it is. She made it happen. But the thing I really love about Jay, um, I left her studio and I was completely lit up, inspired by who she is as a person. And she's just, her work is actually something that she does to uplift people. Good. And I love that. Okay. Who else have we got? We have Rick and Janet Nicholson of Nicholson's Blown Glass, and they have been on the studio tour longer than any other artist. So they've been on the studio tour 23 years, and their Blown Glass creations are legendary. Even you've been to their studio. We yes, were talking earlier. Yes. And uh, man, oh man, uh, they've got so many beautiful function you know it's 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 art that you don't really want to put anything in but they they have functional uh, art on uh, for example they have those lovely uh, teardrop lights that you see um, hanging over a bar they make those they make uh, wall pieces as well but uh, Janet has been very instrumental in the tour in fact she's she's in charge of all the volunteers she's the coordinator of all of that so uh, they just do a whole lot for the community, and I love them very much, and their, their work is amazing. Well, next we're going to look at Candy Martin Baker, who is an acrylic and a watercolor artist. And we have one of her uh, Olive Orchard series. We were speaking of series earlier. She's created a series of Olive Orchard paintings. And I just love Candy's work. To me, it is so rich and the colors and the composition. She also was one of, like I, uh, we got to paint utility boxes here in Auburn. So she painted one, it's on uh, Mount Vernon, and it is, again, a, a vineyard, orchard type scenario. I just think her work is lovely. Uh, next we have Eileen Marcotte, and she's actually located in the Placer Arts facility there at the General Gomez Gallery. She does the most amazing gourd creations. So uh, very unusual, uh, not just the gourd itself and painted, but she adds things like dyed leather and metal uh, things. It's just fabulous. She also makes some little things as well, such as necklaces, etc. But really great artist there. Paul Harmon is a pastel artist who I can also claim as a friend. He's been a part of Plaster Artist League for many years, and he studied under Rafe Erickson, which is the uh, late, very famous painter here from Auburn. Uh, he just passed away this year. And his, Paul's work is, is beautiful. It is very, uh, it's very realistic, and at the same time, uh, you know, he's really put an interpretation into it. Next on the list is Maya Lowe, and she is an oil, acrylic, and pastel artist. She's out of Granite Bay, very excellent artist. Um, her landscapes are stunning, but what we're looking at right now is an image of one of her ladies series. And they're very vibrant. I think you even mentioned it was sort of toulouse lautrec -ish. Yes, it was. It looked like it was very uh, old school yeah. France. Uh, yeah. Accent on uh, light being brought to shadow. Yeah. Um, not clear, distinct features, mm -hmm. a little bit of a blur there. Mm -hmm. Yes, her work is, is amazing, so definitely one to go see. 
Uh, next on the list is Patty Pirapandong, and she is uh, she does many different things: oil, watercolor, uh, acrylic. And this thing that we're looking at here is a lovely depiction of some old trucks. And I just love the way she uses color, and and it's again sort of impressionistic, but very vibrant. And she likes to paint old things, and mm -hmm. I kind of like that. Okay. Uh, next, we're going to look at Keith Smith, who is a batik artist, and he's got some lovely silk scarves. This is one of them. It was really hard to select which one to use <laughs> for this, but uh, this one is gorgeous. Lovely turquoise colors. Uh, excellent artist. He works with his wife. They collaborate, and she does silk painting as well. What's the meaning of batik? Batik is a technique using dye and wax. Okay. So, um, I, I'm sorry I can't explain it any further than that, but... I always thought it was a mixture of different textures and different materials. Well, it, it can be. It's not like you have to do batik on silk. Okay. This is batik on silk. You could do batik on any, okay. anything that would receive that. So it's like bits and pieces and... Well, it's a dyeing process. Okay. But the batik, uh, what makes it batik instead of tie-dye is that they use they use hot wax to to reserve certain colors and, and make it. fine beautiful fine things. Yes, it is beautiful. And the last artist we're featuring today is Jeannie Kaiser, who is a fiber artist. And this piece uh, is this fabulous tunic that is made of fiber. And the textures and the colors are just phenomenal. I actually saw this piece on someone this last Friday night. I was at Old Town Gallery. And she walked in, I happened to know her, and I was like, I love that. And Jeannie was right there, and I said, Jeannie, I want you to make me one of these. Great. <laughs> so. All righty. Thank you very much for all of your insight and your explanations. My pleasure. Uh, it's a pleasure to talk to an artist. I've got, I've got one final question. It may sound a little silly, but um, I guess it just comes from watching too many shows like Deal or No Deal or something like that. Do artists see each other's work and try to make a bargain for a trade? <laughs> <laughs> or is it cash on the barrel head and that's it? Oh, no, there's trading. Is there's there really? definitely trading. Um, people who are artists typically really appreciate art. Yeah. Um, at Jay's house, when we were there for her studio tour, she had original art throughout her home, and it was amazing. Good. And I'm sure she bartered. Um, with some of those artists. Um, I will also say that whenever, as an artist, you attend a, a, a trade fair and you have a booth, you'll be lucky if you don't buy as much as you sold. So. Is that right? <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, that's good. That means you really have an interest in it. Yeah, definitely. It means you really enjoy it. It's, yeah. not a, it's not just a business. No, most people who create art create it because they truly love it. And then, you know, business is something one needs to do. Yeah, but it's it's it can be both. Yeah, uh, I know that you've done it. Mm -hmm. Gail Rapoport Island has done it. Definitely. Craig Johnson and a few others. Tara Beaton, whom I admire very much. Mm -hmm. So I want to thank you very much for being our guest. Thank you, Jerry. Now, once again, remind us of the dates of the tour. This is all free by uh, by way of saying you need to come and see this. It's all free. Yep. The tour dates are November 11th, 12th, and 13th, and it is uh, 77 artists. 40 locations. You can get a tour guide from the Placer Arts website. Okay. Um, yeah, we encourage you to come. Fabulous art and artists, and in time for Christmas presents. Now, can you get something? <clears throat> can you get something from Placer 360? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's the website for Placer Arts. Placer 360. Placer 360, and uh, that they have right there a place to go to get the map. Okay. And once again, what's your website so we can send people to see your work? My website is giamcnutt.com. Okay. That's, that's, that's really catchy. It rhymes with your name. <laughs> and it's two T's. And two T's, okay. yes. Now, your gallery, you also have a gallery. Yes, I'm at a studio gallery in Newcastle. Okay. Newcastle Packing Shed Art Studios and Gallery. There are 11 other artists there with me. Okay. And my studio partner, Rick Watson, is also on the tour. And he's an excellent oil artist. Terrific. Well, much luck on the tour. I hope you make a lot of sales. Thank you. Get some nice notoriety. I want to thank you for helping me in putting the show together so we can tell everybody about the great experience that people can have on this tour. 
I have attended it many times, covered it many times. I think it's terrific. I think it's one of the best things we have here. I want to thank you for making it come alive for so many people. Thank you, Jerry. Okay, ma'am. All right. Appreciate it. Thank you.